uh hey everyone so this is abhishek and in this video i'm going to talk about z stream uh it is one of my side project uh, i have been working on it and um, uh, mostly i will talk about uh, the journey of z stream how i started it and what is the current status and how it works so talking about the journey i started it last year december and uh, with some of my college friends and worked on it for a month and then like completely abandoned it because i moved from my hometown to bangalore and was in completely in gen mode like no work just chilling like i was working but only the main job i was doing not any side projects and mostly traveling then two months back uh, i posted it on linkedin that uh, i have built this g stream and uh, like uh, uh, no this january like no 2023 january i had lost hope that this will ever work and someone will ever use it so i stopped building it uh, that is also one of the reason but like you know like two months back i posted it on linkedin uh, then rahul commented on the post uh, he is cto at your story and also owns a startup and he commented that he is using the stream for one of their app which is hosted in some country where uh no cloud provider uh, and like all the cloud provider are blocked so they are uh, using the stream on a bare metal server and uh, they are it, that is powering the app and i was completely amazed that you know someone is using your software open source software and you uh, know uh, i wanted to use it i wanted to talk about it so he you know i connected with him on whatsapp and uh, asked for the app uh he shared me the app i used it and i was so like i can't express my feeling how joyed i was then you no know, like i talked to him how can i improve it you no know, he he is kind of industry leader so i you know like took input from him like you know what can i integrate you know like you know what can i do to make a lot of people using it and uh, you know he talked about uh, integrating uh, image cdn like cloud nadi or uh audio cdn and uh, i you know just wanted to build a lot of things uh, but i was you no know, like building things solo these months so i started building it but uh, i was also doing the main job so i was kind of a little slowed down then i you know went to this uh, react india conference and uh, met a lot of cool guys there and they also gave a lot of inputs about you know what things can be integrated like uh, audio and video uh, ai you gener- know uh, generation through it ai uh, integrating open mid, uh, no, open or mid journey and uh, no they j- they gave me input about making it completely you uh, know one stop solution for any content company or content k- creator uh, you know like they just have to give prompt and it will be uh, image or video will be generated and put it on the cdn and a link will be generated and that link can be used anywhere with adaptive video streaming and you know everything uh, everything combined together and uh, you know those things can be built uh, they also wanted to fund the project and i was like cool man i will do it but uh, i was i'm a single dev right now so uh, i'm still building it uh, and uh, so i just wanted to update on the process like you know i mean mean update on the status so the video streaming part is completed uh end to end it is dockerized anyone can you know, run the docker command and use it and currently i'm working on the image and audio cdn part then i will later move on to integrating ai open models so that is the current status so let's talk about how it works inside so without wasting any time i'll just show you how it works so i think you can uh, see my screen now i have shared it so g stream uh, is basically two docker images right now uh, uh the one is consumer and the other one is the http server the consumer you know connect is connected with the rabbit mq and consume events from rabbit mq and the http server is uh, connected to the client i mean uh, it exposes the rest apis uh, which can be used by the client and here the client can be anything uh, is another server which is using the stream or another web app or android ios app anything and uh, you no know, client can up, uh, you know get the pre signed urls from the http server and directly upload the file here 
then what client can do is client can send the uploaded file URL to the HTTP server and HTTP server will queue the event on the RabbitMQ then it will be consumed by the consumer and uh, consumer uses FFmpeg to process the video, generate chunks, uh, convert it into bit different bit rates and upload it on the cloud storage then uh, cloud storage is connected using uh, the CDNs from GCP, Azure or AWS and you can directly consume the file anywhere and talking about the image and audio part uh, image what will be done is you can directly upload to the cloud story using the please send URL and uh, then you know, you know, fetch the image if the image with the params is not the params as in width, height, filter uh, filter can be blurred, you know, like a, lot, a lot of things can be there so if that uh, query is not there then it will use the FFM to generate the file here upload it to cloud storage, return to client so this is the architecture right now and talking about the audio it will be similar and I am also planning to build a SASM kind of thing for audio like you can send audio and it will search the name but uh, it is a kind of big thing Thinking, I am thinking a lot of uh, a lot of things for GStream so let's see how far it goes so that that's it for now uh, this was the architecture how I started building GStream and what is the status right now so we covered most of the part so uh, right now I think we should uh, complete this video and if you have any question you can ping me on LinkedIn and do follow uh, no, like do star it on github if you like the project or if you are using it do give me a uh, no, like DM me anywhere twitter github or linkedin anywhere you can also email me that you are using it I will be you know, like super proud that someone is using zstream so that's it in the video and uh, thanks for watching this video till the end Thank you. Bye-bye.